Welcome back to Let the Quran Speak. Now we answer questions we've received from you or our viewers. If you have a question yourself, you can visit our website, www.quranspeaks.com. Okay, the, Bashibir, the question is, um, the first question we have, as Muslims, how can we believe that humans have free will yet still say, inshallah, or God willing? Well, there, there are two sides of this coin. On the one hand, there is the complete control of God of all affairs, and on the other side, there is the human freedom, which is allowed within that complete scope of God's uh, determination and control of all affairs. So we say, inshallah, because we intend to do something, but we don't have the full capacity to carry it out. We depend on God's help uh, to make this a possibility. Okay, the next question is... Um a, a hadith from Sahih Bukhari that deals with the issue of music and its instruments. And it says, uh, from among my followers, there will be people who will consider musical instruments um, lawful, which is kind of seen as a negative thing. So h how do you say, I guess, the question is about y your response to music and how does that gel with the hadith here? Yeah, Ibn Hazm, a great um, scholar from the early period of Islam, and uh, some others have um, questioned the authenticity of this hadith. Uh, of course, we wouldn't question the words of the Prophet himself, um, but we can question other people who said that the Prophet said this, because he may not have said it and people might have attributed this to him by mistake. Uh, this uh, hadith, though found in Bukhari's collection, is not one of his numbered hadiths, but is one of what the scholars refer to as the muallaqat, or the suspended ones. It means that in the chain of narrators, something is uh, not uh, quite right, so that hadith cannot be graded by itself to be authentic uh, and definitely a genuine saying of the Prophet, peace be upon him. But would this hadith be then included within the, the Sahih collections, though? Um, no, it is in the, in, it's in the collection of Bukhari, uh, but it's not uh, one of the numbered hadiths, which are the numbered hadiths of his uh, Sahih collection. This can only be given as something like a preface uh, to, his, to the hadiths that are really the co core component of his Sahih collection. So in other words, this hadith doesn't really provide a good counterbalance to the argument that music is permissible. Um, no, because, because of course to, to declare something to be impermissible in Islam you have to have a definite statement from God or his prophet uh, and if you don't have something that is authentically attributed back to the prophet peace be upon him you don't really have an argument there. All right, thank you for that. Welcome. That's all the time we have. You can visit our website, www.quranspeaks.com. Send us your comments, your suggestions, and of course, your donations. I'm Safiya Ali for all of us here at Let the Quran Speak. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.